Uh, greetings, Paul. Salutations, Governor. Are they treating you all right? Uh, I have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, having many visitors these days. A few. I suppose some of them are influential and wealthy. Remember what I said about your needing freedom while I need money. <laughs> I remember. Good. I, uh... <laughs> well, I'll come again soon. Perhaps we can talk some more about God, laws, money, and... Uh... <laughs> For two full years, Paul remained in prison. Governor Felix visited him several times and listened attentively to Paul's words. The governor kept slyly intimating that a large sum of money might secure Paul's release. The apostle, however, was of too noble a nature to free himself by a bribe. He also felt that he was in the hands of God, and he would not interfere with divine purposes respecting himself. Governor Felix's unscrupulous rule, his violent and cruel nature, his disregard for law and order finally caught up with him. <sighs> Drusilla. Yes, my dear. Oh. Oh, something's happened. What? <sighs> I've been summoned to Rome by the emperor himself. Relative to what? <laughs> Me. So they finally caught up with you. Yeah. Well, what do you mean by that? Have you forgotten so quickly? Forgotten what? You and me. Neither one of us lives according to the principles we were taught to believe and live by. Mm -hmm. I'm an Israelite, a princess, yet I don't live by Israelite standards. <laughs> and you are governor, ruling a great number of people. But you don't rule according to the laws set down by Rome. We discussed this and agreed to do as we pleased. Remember now? Yes. When do you have to go to Rome? Right away. Who is accusing you? And of what? The Israelites. I greatly wronged them and their religion. You'll get a fair trial. You may not be found guilty. Well, I'm going to do something before I leave for Rome that might help a little in regaining the confidence of the Israelites. I'm going to leave Paul in prison and reduce his freedom. That should please the Israelites. It would please them more if you would just uh, kill Paul. <laughs> But, of course, you can't do that. It is strictly forbidden by Roman law. Yes, I know. I'll be in the gallery listening, and I'll meet you right here after it's all over. Unless I'm found guilty and taken to the death cell. You won't, and I'll meet you right here. I'm disgraced. At least you were released. But they've removed me from the governorship. What would people say and think? I... Well, perhaps all this wouldn't have happened had I treated Paul right. And had I become a Christian. I wouldn't say that. Don't even think it. The emperor has disgraced us, this I will admit. But it's not the end. They said at the trial that you were despotic. Evil. All right. Let's be what they say we are. What? Let's show them what real evil is. Oh, whatever you say, dear. <laughs> what I tell you, Lieutenant? Felix refused to listen to the voice of God when he had the chance. Now he'll never again get the chance. He is mine, all mine. I will lead him down the long road to destruction, and he will drag others with him. <laughs> I, Nero, Emperor of Rome and Roman provinces, do hereby appoint you, Portius Festus, to the office of Procurator of Judea, with headquarters in Caesarea. So be it. You were sergeant under Felix? Yes, sir. Then you can bring me up to date, as it were, on conditions and the feeling of the people. And anything else that will help me give Judea a wise and just administration. Well, I'll try to, sir. Now be objective, Sergeant. Army personnel aren't supposed to have personal opinions. Yes, sir. Tell me first, what special factions, if any, do I have to deal with outside of the Israelites? I know they're a problem. As far as I know, sir, there are only two. One is a band of assassins calling themselves the Sicarii. Are they a serious threat? They're beginning to be, sir. And then there's quite a following of a false prophet. 
They are unscrupulous and vicious. These two groups should be dealt with immediately and with firmness. Anything else of importance, Sergeant? Uh, no, sir. Did... Oh, uh, yes, there is. I almost forgot. There's a prisoner, sir. He's getting to be quite aged. He's been in prison for two years now. And everyone says he's not a criminal and shouldn't even be in prison. It is not Rome's policy to keep a man in jail who isn't a criminal. I'm going to Jerusalem in a day or two. When I return, I shall surely investigate and hear his case. <laughs> <laughs> 